Today I'm just making a quick video talking about how the um, the variable valve lift works on these engines. This is a Audi A4, I think maybe a 2011 or 12, any any of these with the uh, TFSI engine. The, well, how they how they do it is they uh, here's the exhaust cam. So the exhaust cam is just a rod and it has the sleeve these sleeves each. Each cylinder has its own sleeve, and the sleeves hold the lobes, and they also hold these little ramp, these little ramps that you can see right here. This is the solenoid, and that little peg right there is pushed out when it's uh, when it's energized, and goes into this ramp, and the ramp pushes the lobe one direction, pushes the sleeve that has the lobes like this. It pushes it one direction or the other. So one of them's responsible for moving it forward, the other's responsible for moving it backward. And um, it has to be actuated at just the right time because it has to be at the heel of the camshaft. So the lobe being right here, here's the lobe, and that's the heel that you're seeing right there. It's smooth, you know? If it was to actuate it when the lobe had a, um, when the lobe was visible, there would actually be a step there because there's two lobes next to each other. So um, it can't, it has to be actuated at the heel of the cam when this shoots out and it slides the whole it slides the whole thing over one direction and the other direction. So there's two per, two per cylinder, these two, these two, these two, and these two. And um, yeah, each one has its own sleeve on the, on the, uh, on the camshaft rod basically that's, um, that has a, uh, a way to index it. Like it has a flat on it or a, or a finger or a notch or some sort that indexes it so everything moves together. And then it can just slide forward and backwards, so pretty interesting it, it looks like something that you know would would fail and have problems but they're super reliable from what i've seen so far i haven't really seen any problems with them honestly i mean i've seen a lot more problems with other systems on on the bmws and stuff like that but um but yeah works great pretty cool you can see that all it needs to do is energize it one direction it doesn't need to suck this thing back in because the way it goes i'm gonna see if i can set this up to show you a little better yeah here so when this rod shoots out into this groove here, and this, there it is, when it shoots into this groove here, it spins around and then it ends up over here. And then as it gets to this point, it gets pushed back into its um, position where it just is, is not actuated. So it pushes itself back out. So this thing just shoots out, goes into this groove, follows this, and then moves this whole thing backwards, if you can see, because this ends up here. So this whole thing, this whole collar is moved backwards. The other one is kind of limp at that time. And then the opposite thing happens. This one, the ramp is the opposite direction. So this thing shoots out, pushes it back the other way. It's all done at the, at the, the back side of the cam, right through here. And the other side of this has the lobes. And um, that's how it's done. So. It has to happen in the perfect sequence with the firing order. They can't all just activate at the same time or else it would be, it wouldn't work. <laughs> It'd be madness. So, um, whatever the fight, you know, the firing order, it has to trigger them exactly one after another and, and push them all until they're all the same direction during acceleration, going to a larger lobe and, uh, at lower loads, it's going to the smaller lobe. So you have a good idle and everything else still. So pretty cool setup you can see the 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 rocker in here it's just a roller rocker and um it, it it's it's totally fine with going you know the little bit of a side motion you can see right now cylinder one is on on kind of the peak of the lobe you can see both of them next to each other right now it's actually right now it's actually it looks like it's on the higher lift just depending on how the car was shut off and where it was at at the time but yeah pretty interesting Thanks for watching.